Hello YouTube! Welcome again to this channel. Today we are gonna talk about things around the world that are mysterious and unexplained. So let's begin! The Man Hears of Karnak It's the largest megalithic site in the world. In the town of Karnak in Brittany, France, more than 4,000 men hears and dolmens are aligned over an area of nearly 4 kilometers. It is said that these stones vary in, in height from a few centimeters to more than 6 meters would have been placed around 4500 before Christ. In each alignment, the men hears are placed in ascending order towards the east. The most recent studies date these alignments of men hears from the Neolithic period. This period was marked by profound technical and social changes. It is linked to the adoption of a model based of agriculture and animal husbandry. Since 1991, the site has been protected and closed to the general public in summer but open in winter. Stonehenge It's the most famous megalithic monument in the world whose name means the hanging stones. It has been the subject of all hypotheses since successive generations of archaeologists. It is composed of a set of concentric circular structures and would have been erected between 2800 and 1100 before Christ. It is located 13 kilometers north of Salisbury in the south of England. The monument forms a circle 30 meters in diameter. All around is a ditch 103 diameters with dozens of wells that would have been used for cremations. The area is a major archaeological site and attracts nearly 1 million visitors per year. The Statues of Easter Island This island was discovered on Easter Day 1722 by the Dutchman Jacob Rochvin. He came across hundreds of human figurines from 3 to 12 meters height. When he arrived, the island was inhabited by the Polynesians, but they were not the ones who made these enormous megalithic monuments. It is believed that these statues were made in the 10th century for religious purposes by the Easter Islanders, a people who would have inhabited the island before the Polynesians. Beals Cipher The Beale Cipher is a series of three coded texts intended to reveal the location of one of the greatest hidden treasures in the history of the United States. It was the treasure of a mysterious man named Thomas Jefferson Beale, who in 818 was prospecting in Colorado and who left behind a chest containing three texts and the promise of a key to come to decipher them. The key never came. Only the second has been decoded. Interestingly, the American Declaration of Independence turned out to be the key to the code. An even more interesting fact when we know that Bill was also the name of the author of the US Declaration of Independence. The decoded texts 
previous stand. The treasure is buried in Bedford, Virginia, but the exact location is certainly hidden in one of the two undecoded texts and remains unknown. Treasure hunters continue to haunt the Bedford area, often illegally armed with their shovels since the here to the cipher made history public in the hopes of successfully decoding the two remaining numbers. The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is named after a Polish-American bookseller and antiquarian Wilfried Voynich purchased it in 1912. It is a detailed 240-page book written in a completely unfamiliar language or script. Its pages are full of colorful drawings of strange diagrams, bizarre situations and plants that are unlike any known species, which adds to the mystery of the document and its difficulty of deciphering. The author is anonymous, but Carbon-14 revealed that these pages were made somewhere between 1404 and 1438. So this is the end of the video, I hope you liked it and tell me in the comment what you think about it. So I see you next week for a new video, goodbye!